Hi, I'm Red. You watch your Pirate Garage? I think it's turbo time. Finally, we can throw this little turbo on this little engine, make a little bit of boost. We got all the intercooler pipes and everything all mocked up. Everything fits good. I was just waiting on a couple things. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how this thing runs. I got a little China wastegate, China manifold, China turbo. We're just gonna rock it. And then I got an oil line kit with a couple fittings that we need. I also bought a uh, sandwich plate. This one, this one's not a China one. This is a Mishimoto. Um, the China ones, they just leak like crazy. So I'm not even gonna waste my time putting uh, another sandwich plate on. So yeah, I picked up this oil line kit minus the plate for like 30 bucks. Um, I ordered an extra fitting for the oil pan because one goes on the turbo and the other goes on the oil pan. And uh, yeah, just a couple miscellaneous parts. So we're ready to put this bad boy on. Here's some boost. I still need to get the flange welded on the charge pipe for the block valve. I'm gonna start taking this manifold off and I have to button up some of these things on this uh, turbo to get this ready to throw on. Uh, I gotta put the flanges on the top and the bottom. Um, still there's no gasket here. So I just gotta throw everything together and just put it in as one piece. So right, give me a few minutes and we're gonna get this handled. Uh, so the turbo's ready to go on. I just put everything on, make it a little bit easier to throw everything in. Um, I put some sealant on here. Uh, the gasket I had was damaged. 
And then uh, I put a gasket right here on the bottom for the oil return and then I put some Teflon tape on that fitting so it doesn't leak. And then I got some lock washers right here on these studs. So everything, sh everything should be good. Also some lock washers on the wastegate. I gotta tighten this a little bit more, but it'll be pretty easy to get to. So, and then I connected the oil supply and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it behind the motor and then just sandwich it where the oil filter is. So, ooh, what do you think, Tim? Looks pretty nice. It's meant to go like that. I know, I know. This car's meant to have this baby turbo. Especially how you did the rebuild last time. Yeah, I mean, I just didn't feel comfortable with um, how many miles this motor had, plus it just, it's just been burning oil. So I knew these rings were just toasted. So I wanna make sure that this motor will last a little while at least. Um, we got some big plans for this thing and uh, those plans do not include a stock engine. So you guys just gonna have to stay tuned for that and we'll get everything handled and get this thing, yeah, we're gonna get it running legit. One step at a time. Yeah, I mean, I would like, I would like to uh, play with these things and just kind of see where, see where we're at with uh, different modifications so that um, we can show you guys what can can be done man this thing. i think that's going in crooked well duh <laughs> you have to take the off How's it going? We do plan on uh, putting some uh, heat wrap on this manifold and doing a bunch of other stuff to try to get this car so it's not super hot in this engine bay, but today we're just gonna get this thing bolted on. We're gonna get the downpipe made so we can uh, load some boost. This has been like the plan for this car since me and Tim got it. We knew we were gonna put a turbo, we knew we were gonna do all the modifications that we were doing. So, just step by step. Yeah, my, my EM2, that's all wheel drive, it actually, uh, I had a turbo on it a long time ago, and um, it, just, it just never really ran right, and uh, there just wasn't any, the parts that we have today, there's way more stuff available. Back then, we had nothing. Didn't even have K-Pro back then. So. This thing's almost bolted on. I know, this thing's kind of high. I might have to put a little dent in my hood. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, there's a 13. No wonder. about a dent, I think we need to cut the hood out. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's not too crazy, but I'm going to take, take this top fitting off for now because that thing is way, way too high. There we go. Yeah, we can run like a three-port boost control. There we go. See? It's a lot better. What do you think, Sam? Yep. Put that in there for later. Okay. So yeah, this thing looks pretty nice. Um, go, got the coupler reducer right here. Uh -huh. Just gotta line this bad boy up. And the charge pipe. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get under here to do this. Gonna grab some clamps. Yeah, this one's too big. Yeah, my stuff needs 
same as those clamp on the turbo. These clamps, they're for like a two and a half, and they're already like a little, a little on the big, big side. Okay, I think that'll work. That's going on the downpipe for the... Downpipe? No. On the, the charge pipe. Charge pipe, yeah. Too short, dude. So we got everything hooked up. You know, I guess when I measured for the intercooler pipes, we were, um, the intercooler was over a little bit more. So what I had to do is uh, I had to trim a little bit extra on this bumper. I actually did a lot extra, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, and uh, yeah, now it fits. And then uh, I got the turbo clock where I want it. So I just gotta uh, tighten up these bolts. No big deal. And, uh, yeah. So, Tim, you want to, in a second, you want to show these guys what we're. And, well, I'm going to do it from the bottom. All right, so check it out. This bad boy is in. Can't wait to see this thing spin. So, yeah, we got everything in. We got the intercooler pipes hooked up. It's a little limited for space, but it's okay. It'll work. It went perfectly around the hoses. So yeah. So now the next step is I'm gonna get under here and I gotta I gotta check out the oil return line. You can't see it from here. But I'm gonna do the oil return line on the bottom. I'm gonna kinda mock it up. Here. Well Tim would not be stepping on it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna mock this up under here and just kind of see where I wanna put it because um, we're gonna have to uh, drop the oil pan. And I'm gonna have to drill and tap a hole. So we gotta do this the right way. 
so that it won't leak. So, yeah, just give me a few minutes. I'm gonna get this bad boy handled real quick, and I'm gonna tighten up. Uh, I'm gonna tighten up these bolts on the compressor housing. Man, this there's like no room under here, but it's okay. We'll get it figured out. Yeah, I wanted everything all hooked up because I don't wanna I don't wanna drill that hole and run this line and it be rubbing against something. So yeah, I think we'll be good. Okay, so as you guys can see right here, we have the oil return, and I'm probably gonna put it right here so that we have plenty of room for the exhaust to go over. I don't wanna be worrying about that shit getting all hot. So, yeah, gonna have to drop this oil pan, drill the hole, and we'll be good. So there's actually a lot of room right here to work with. So it's actually nice. Uh, so yeah, these D17 oil pans are actually pretty easy to drop. This one, uh, since it's aluminum, it just uses silicone. So I already drained the oil, and I took all the bolts and nuts out. So we just gotta, we just gotta, they have a couple, spots we are supposed to pry on and then it should there we go did you hear that yeah yeah you just gotta kind of just gotta kind of wiggle it there we go okay don't let it fall in the face. and then see just gotta lower it and then down super easy yep super easy don't have to drop the subframe Nothing. Yeah, I'm starting to like these D17s. They're pretty, pretty cake to work on. Okay. Ooh. Nasty, nasty crap. Super nasty. Yeah, well, whatever. This, this motor just needs to last a little while. Uh, now, let's bring this, let's bring this thing over here. Now, what did I? Uh, I want you to get up to me. Now. Where did I say I wanted this? I wanted it all the way over, right? Yeah. Yeah, kind of like as far over as... Over there. Yeah. So I'll probably, probably just do it like right here. See, so yeah, I'll probably just drill it right here. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, here's the, here's the fitting. Right here. So this is the fitting I plan on using. It's gonna be right here. Good. Yeah, in between holes. Yeah. Okay. So let me. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to clean this stupid thing out. Anyway, so. Where's the Where's the drill, Tim? Oh, can you grab it for me? Okay. Screw it. This This. It's gonna this get cleaned anyways. This moving blanket is crap, anyways. We'll buy more for cheap. Uh, yeah. So, I want to make sure that I have enough room yeah, to tighten this bad boy. Come on. Here goes nothing. Chop it. You got metal shavings and uh oh i cut into there that's okay yeah see there's a little there's a little bolt hole right there so i'm just gonna have to uh i'm just gonna put a bolt in there and then put a little bit of sealant and uh we should be good okay be good. now would you put that top i handed it to you it's right there uh where the header is on the floor okay and then this top is a uh, half inch MPT. So it's a uh, pipe thread. So the tighter you make it, the bigger the hole gets. So 
tapered. You gotta be careful. I don't have all these fancy tools. I got what I need. There you go. See, no problem. Yeah, for me, aluminum oil pans, this is how I always do it. Because there's plenty of, uh, there's plenty of meat to bite into for that fitting. Okay, we're about halfway. Yeah, be careful not to go too far. See, I can see the threads right there. Too fast. Nice. See how it stops? We still have plenty of threads. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bit more and we'll be good. Wanna make sure that this thing bites really nice. Enough. What do you think, Tim? Pop it on and one last test fit before we stick it on there. Yep. See, look at that. Perfect. So now, just gonna clean this up a little bit. Throw a little bit of Teflon tape. You don't want this thing leaking. Stuff is super flimsy, especially when your hands are dirty. Yeah, just put a lot for good measure. Aluminum tool? Yeah, I might as well. I mean... You damage those fittings, that's why. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just better. Yeah. See? So that little gap right there? But like I said, it's a tapered thread, so we should be good. Actually... Uh, it, may, it may have been sealed up that hole, but... I'm gonna make sure that we don't have any problems. So you have a little little bolt right here. And now I'm gonna put some, did you see where the silicone went? Is it over there, Tim? Oh no, you know what? I know I put it over, oh, here we go. Just gonna put a little bit of silicone on this. Yeah, there's some stupid brackets right here, but I don't care. So just remind me to not to take that nut off or that bolt out. Hmm. Where is the impact? There we go. All sealed up. Okay, let me. Man, now we got all this. Let's Let's clean this thing up and right up. Yeah. shove it back on. Pretty much. Yeah, but I need to. I need to get all all this crap off. So. Okay, do me a favor, Tim, would you sweep out that crap? All these metal shavings? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Okay. What are you doing there, Red? Trying to get this stupid car to work. Ugh. There's like no room, dude. I wanted to use this one, but yeah, that ain't gonna work. This thing is like straight, straight, nothing. This 
It's gonna be like the shortest freaking overturn line I've ever done. Okay. Oh yeah, that ain't gonna work. Huh. And we're just gonna have to do it the other way. Nope. I have a I had an extra oil line just chilling, never been used. I need two straights, those those forty fives are just too long. This kind of sucks, but whatever. This is this is about modifying stuff. You have to just make it work. Do you can do what you can with what you got. I didn't realize it was gonna be such a short run. I wanted to have as much clearance for the exhaust as I could. So the oil line wasn't anywhere close to it, but whatever. Take this other cut. Turn that off to my eyes. Fittings are kind of kind of boring. Uh, need some, need some lube. Yeah, I see the the forty fives are just way too long. They don't have enough room. Even with one straight at 145, it's just it's not gonna work. Yeah, I really honestly didn't know what I was gonna do until I eyeballed it. Alright Tim, sometimes custom stuff needs you need to play with it. Yep. Okay, and then this one, I'll just use it for something else. Nice. Later. So I have this straight one that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna leave this on and then I'm just gonna cut the line where I need to cut it. Okay, so. They only go on one exact way? I don't know.
super short. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. some tape on here because let me put on anyway so I can cut it. Very precise way to measure it, right Tim? Yeah. I'm more of an eyeball guy but I'm crooked. Little loop goes a long way. Look at this, this old line is stupid, stupid short. Well, I got plenty of line. If I have to redo it, these fittings, they can come off. So, I just don't want to have to do it more than once. Really should get two of these wrenches, but whatever. We'll get another one later. Yeah, they're pretty cheap. Or maybe I'll buy one. You could steal that one again. Yep. I like that idea better. <sighs> okay, that's tight. Hey, got your fingers tim. Oh yeah, here we go. I think oh, we're, that's I think we're the in, money. I think we're in like Flynn. It's a little kinked, but we'll, when I tighten it, it should be good. I don't know, it's not even threading. There we go. Tim, but want to recut? We'll try this for now. There we go. I think that'll work. Okay. 
Overturn line on, a little janky, but it's okay. Okay, now, let me double check this. Oh yeah, that's the right one, okay. So, make sure that that seal is in there, and you gotta put the adapter on there. Super hard to see. Yeah, well. These things are the way. Okay, okay I see it. Yeah. And then I'm gonna tighten it. Super simple. Yeah, it, I mean, the O line kit that I bought, it came with some fins, but. I don't want to use those because I've had them uh, break on me before. Okay, now just take the old filter and put it back, and that's it. Now the turbo has oil. Legit. Okay. This thing back in. That's where this goes. Okay. And see, look, this oil line has tons of clearance. So, okay. Legit. Now it's not going to melt. Nope. Well, plus it's a braided, braided line of like Kevlar. Exactly. Woo, gotta put the oil back in. Almost forgot. Ooh, it's still black already. Oh well. Don't care. This is for break in purposes only. <laughs> yeah, it's breaking in. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do an oil change after uh, a few miles. And... All right, Tim, you ready? I'm ready for everything, man. We got the car. Check out that compressor wheel. Be loud. Want to do a hood exit? No. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the um, the AR on this turbo is like a 63. So sometimes these small engines at an idle, they have trouble spinning the turbo. But that's normal. That's not that big of a deal. So yeah, this is not connected yet. We don't have the blow off valve. The wastegate's not connected. But uh, this bad boy's spinning. So me and Tim, we're gonna go to the muffler shop. We're gonna get them to do the downpipe. I also have the, the downpipe. This came with that K-Series kit. So all I gotta do is just cut the flange and flip it over because normally it goes like this, 
but the turbo's upside down, so it'd be pointing like that. So I guess I guess it would be a hood exit. That's what I'm saying, man. Nah. <laughs> oh. nah. All right, so we just got to get the downpipe done. I got to weld on the blow off valve flange and uh, hook up uh, uh, the wastegate uh, to the turbo, or you know, I'll probably just hook it up to the intake manifold so we can get some boost reference. Um, but yeah, we'll handle that next time. So uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.